Hi, it's Bran, and I love Hallmark. What's it called? Day Spring movies. Yeah, you did. I'm Brian, and I like Hallmark. Day Spring. I'm Dan. It is such a blessing to tell you that I despise day spring movies. And this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. Brandon and friends host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Hello, everybody. Oh, hopefully boy. you're having a wonderful day. And if Man. not, hopefully this is what, what kickstarts it. Around, yeah. yeah. Kickstarts it. You could say we're blessed and highly favored around we here. We are blessed and highly favored. Is that a bike reference? Favored. Oh, huh? kick, little <laughs> kickstand. <laughs> you know I love the bike. Mm. What's you know? the brand name of your bike? My mic's off. Uh, bike, uh, bike, bike, our, bike, bike, our, bikes are us. Bike, mm. bike, bike, our, bike, our, bike, bike, our, bikes are us. You're good. Yep. Okay. Uh, Brian's mic is off. He's good. He's good. Yeah, for the recording. Yeah, mm. I I got I got Thank it, guys. I, Everybody I got good. It. Don't uh, no one worry. No one worry. Um, let me ask you this. Please do. If you could go on tour mm. with one band as the bass player, oh boy, what band would it be? Oh man, Spot I know. Speed dial. The hot air balloon and everything? Oh, maybe. You know. That's, that's, that's tough. tough, man. Ah! Oh. Bass player. Yeah. Mm. What are you going with, Brian? Tricycle try hard. Tricycle try hard? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. The bass is not Because, 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 no, no, no. Because it's. <laughs> tricycle. You know that song? Yeah. Tricycle. <laughs> Try hard. Tricycle. He put a little overdrive on the bass there at the end. He did. Wow. Yeah. Real nice. You cool. good? You got anything else, Brandon? No, I don't. You All guys right. ready to talk about the wrestling blessing bracelet? The wrestling? <laughs> I think I'd Happy go Dingus Day, everybody. I think I'd go out with Todd Dingus and the Dingus Family oh, Band. Is yeah. what I mean. we all the mm. blessing bracelets. Hallmark sent us all blessing bracelets. We got those. We're going to pull out right. Nope. Oh, just kidding. If you're watching on Philo TV, you could see our lack of blessing bracelets. You Empty guys, wrists. you guys know my um, bracelet that I have worn for a long time that tells the story of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I do know that you took it off for Easter this it year. It broke in a, just in a before show of Easter. Really? <laughs> and I don't know. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know what that meant. It just just before Kinda Easter. Kind of like the tomb. What? Well, you maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Tomb's empty. Tomb is empty. empty. Uh, the b- b- blessing bracelet, April 9th, 2023. And it, went a little, Sunday, huh? and it went a little something like this. Uh, the movie kicks off with someone making a bracelet. Is it a blessing bracelet? You're going to get it's there. Not a bless- is it a it's bless- a blessing bracelet, I can is tell you that. Is it a blessing bracelet? We will find out. Dawn and her son, Justin, are walking down the street. They're speaking in fake British accents, yes. They're talking about how he wants a dog. It's Valentine's Day, but she forgot. Uh, but Justin is like, you should go, Mom. You should go, Mama. Um, but she doesn't really want to go. She's uh, being a bit of a Debbie Downer or, or Donnie. <laughs> Debbie Donnie. <laughs> Don, Donnie Downer. Donnie Downer. It's a dressing bracelet, yep. correct? Good. Uh, especially since the bank is trying to let her know that her house is going to get foreclosed on and she's trying to avoid the bank at all costs. Her so that'll house, do it. Her house her is going to get. Her house. Okay. What did I say? You said that, but I heard something else. So. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> so her house is going to get four uh, Dawn <laughs> is getting ready for Galentine's um, and finds a blessing bracelet. That he's, uh, see how I did that that time? Uh, that she made back in high school. It has four beads. And basically the whole thing is you touch each bead and you say something that you're that's a blessing in your life. Something that you're thankful for. Count your blessings, baby. That's the whole point. Name them one by one. Amen. Amen. Uh, she goes to the restaurant and sees a help wanted sign in the window and she gets a job as a waiter and she is pumped and people say that no one wants to work anymore, but you haven't met Dawn. 
Uh, she gets a call the next day and finds out about the foreclosure. This is a bad. This is sad news. Uh, but nothing a uh, nothing a, a, a lick from a dog can't help. So. So says the son. Um, the dog uh, belongs to Ben. They're in the park. This dog is just uh, having a wonderful time. And uh, he's also happens to, to be uh, a real hunk. He ends up asking her to go on a uh, what he calls a little doggy date. And she says, I got a lot going on. So probably not right now. It's good for her. Uh, Don goes to church and talks uh, talks to God about life. She goes to her first uh, job at the re- first day at the restaurant, and wouldn't you know it, Ben is there with his parents. Valentine's night a dinner with his parents. Or two. Mm-hmm. Uh, so why not? Why not? Why not do that? That's sure. something that he does every year. If yeah. his parent, if, if he doesn't if have a date, his right. parents always have a date because right, yeah. they're married. Um, and so, they're, are they sick of that? Probably not. Right? I don't think so. Tired of uh, so her coworker. Encourages her to give a little something to everyone to help with tips. So, like, she gives some candy. And so, what Dawn decides to do is she's going to give everyone a blessing bracelet. Mm. And once you know it, it works. People love it. People are coming back. People want to order something. And 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 the business starts there. Everybody, they everybody's want everybody Would you wants. Say they were returned, uh, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Amen. Amen. Um. People are going nuts. They're like, we need to order some. We need to order more. We need 500. We need 1,000. She needs a website. She gets a website. Orders are coming in there. This is amazing. So she slowly starts paying off the debt that she has. And you might be wondering to yourself, self, yep. self, <laughs> where, where's, where's the guy? Where's, where's, the, where's, the, where's the husband? Where all this debt come from? Well, we find out that deadbeat dad apparently... Made some bad investments. Now, I'm not going to say it's Doge. <laughs> I'm not going to say to the he put all of his money in Doge the week before Elon Musk hosted SNL because everyone said it's a surefire bet. It's going to go to the moon. It's going to go to the moon when he hosts SNL. And the next thing you know, he hosts SNL and it gets to an all time low. I'm not saying that's what he did. I'm not saying that's what anybody here on this set Never. did. And nor did we go to the pony race, and there was a pony <laughs> named Doge, and we were like, this is a sign. So we put all we had left on the pony named Doge. He didn't do that, though. We don't know. <laughs> I don't, know, don't know, know what he did. Then we walked to the casino, I, and we <laughs> said, put it all on Doge. I'm not saying it was Doge. <laughs> um, but it was Doge. <laughs> And so he left. He left town. He said, you know what? To the moon, I can only go so far. I, I, I'm leaving my family. I'm leaving everything behind. I can't even show my face around my kid anymore. It has been years. Three years since he's yes. seen his kid it's because been. he put all of his money in Doge. Three years since I've seen my kid. Put all my money in Doge. We'll work on it. I think there's something there. <laughs> there's something there. I don't think that was it, but I do think there's something there. I, I don't want believe that the God can bless me. Wow. Yep. Okay. So one night he shows back up and he's like, I've got good news. <laughs> Doge is back. It's up, back. Baby. 17 <laughs> cents and Can I tell you this? Moon. Can I tell you this? Elon Musk, babe, let me tell you this. Elon Musk bought Twitter and he made, he made the Twitter logo. The the logo for Dogecoin. We might be back. We might be back because you better believe I held. I held. Again, I'm not talking sure. for personal experience. Sure. No. Um, and she's like, you the know what? He was named Doge. Uh, like, what do you want? Is- and so, and so uh, she's like, no, no. Listen, if, fool me once. And he's like, well. How's this grab you? Slides over a check. He does not kiss her awkwardly. <laughs> no, if you're listening. Slides over a check Fuck for up. 10 honking ones. And by that, I mean $10,000. That's right. And she's like, well, okay. Oh, well, okay. Now we're, talking. now we're talking. She holds on to the check. She doesn't cash it. The next day, they get together again. And he says, <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's good. Woo! Think, to the moon. I, I, I'm just saying, I'm saying, babe, you got to cash that check. And there's a more coming. Sunday's coming. 
I made some solid investments. I didn't put it all in Doge. I put some in SolarCoin. I put some in in SafeMoon. I ran the gamut so that when Doge wins, we all win. That's right. If Doge is rising, we're all rising. Mm -hmm. And she says, oh, still, so some things never change. So no to your money. No to you. It's how about uh, how about maybe how about maybe someday it's you just self-sufficient. How about maybe someday it's you just come see your son. Friends. Make blessing be. Yes. So <laughs> so what she's to the <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> So but she is committed at this point. She is committed at this point to paying off debt without the ten thousand dollar check. From who knows where. And so she is getting order after order. The church all comes together. They're building bracelets together. Burp, 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 bracelet done. Burp, 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 bracelet done. Wait, there's a bracelet. bracelet. Ah, yeah, dang, it. Bracelet alert. dang it. And Those so she walks ones. into so, the bank you one day. Hands on a bracelet. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. To the moon. <laughs> she, walks into the, she walks into the bank one day and says, Hey, I'm here. I'm here because I think. I'm paid in full, baby. Blood of Jesus. And <laughs> that works in the bank. Yeah, it does. But also, she had the money. At this <laughs> point, course. at this point. So it's a works based salvation. Is what well, you're at this point, Ben comes out. What? what? Record what, scratch? What she didn't know is that Ben works at the bank. Ben, the whole time, the lady that she was working with at the bank would go like, let me go see if I can get you an extension. And Ben's over there being like, no, no extension. And so she's pretty bummed to find out that Ben works for the bank somehow in the time in which they were hanging out. It never came up that he worked at the bank. So what can you do? She does pay it off, though, and the the bla- 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 bracelet business is booming. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And she's like, I think maybe, I think maybe this is for me. He, he surprises her A- after. Is it Easter service? After Easter service, uh, uh, the son is like, "Hey, mm. come with us. Come with us, mom. Me and Ben, we've been working on something." They take her to a, a building that he's rented out for her to sell her bracelets and other accoutrements. Uh-huh. In nice, thank nice. you. Said accoutrement correctly. Thank you. I said that word and you learned it the other day. What? Well, no, I, the yeah, other day. Yeah, you looked it up. I said accoutrement last month in the office, and you're like, "What's that mean?" No, 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 no. You've been saying accoutrement for years. Right, well, okay, but you looked it up. This happened, right? It was in okay. the context in which you used it. I okay. think is why we looked. Okay, it up. but ne- neither here nor there. Uh, also th- nice. Thank you. The bill. <laughs> the, the, he rented out the building, and he says, "Hey, good news. Good news, everybody. Uh, I am going." To let you use the space. And she's like, What haven't you learned? I don't take handouts. And he's like, This isn't a handout. You're gonna have to pay me rent, baby. <laughs> and she's like, Now <laughs> we're now talking. We're talking. Yeah. It's independent. Cut Just pay my rent. Here. Cut back to her house. They also get the boy a dog, and we're all better for that. And I do they kiss? I they think do. they kiss. They do a little kiss kiss. And that my friends was the, the blessing placement. <laughs> We sure did, did it. I found out something about myself today. I cannot. I have a hard enough time with the word bracelet. God forbid there's another B word in front of it. Bad, 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 bad. Blessing bracelet. Blessing bracelet. Blessing bracelet. We'll be back here on Doug Bahamar. Seashells. It's not hard for anyone else. Is it just me? Well, now that you've said one? it that way, it's the only blessing yeah. bracelet. Blessing bracelet. Welcome so, back to the blessing bracelet, everybody. Uh, we are going to break this movie down with four segments. We're going to start with a heart take, heart as we've take. been rebranding gotcha. it. Uh, what do you think, Brian? What do you think about this movie? So this, uh, I feel like, first of all, it was just unfortunate timing for a movie that involves regional banks. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this... Either it was very coincidental or the PR campaign has is working really well because they've infested into uh, little romantic comedy movies like this with pushing, you know, banks being good folks and everybody hang tight with the banks for a little while. So that was something that just right off the bat, pretty funny. Uh, these two leads, though, were insufferable together. 
Whoa. And I mean that in the way that I want them to puke at how adorable they were with oh, okay. their, 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 like, their, their lame jokes and just how they were just so, like, giddy and so stuff So you together. liked them together. I liked them a lot together. The two of them, to, I feel like Carlo Marx and, um, what is her name? Oh, Amanda Scholl. Amanda Scholl. Scholl? Scholl. 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 I can Scholl. 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 Them together, I feel they were great. Like I don't, it could be any movie. I don't. The, this story doesn't matter at all. The two of them together in that, in those roles where they're both kind of goofy and silly and stuff. I thought they were great like that. Everything else about the movie, I was not a huge fan of. Uh, I thought that it was sort of like a very forced and unnecessary conflict that they had. The misunderstanding. I didn't like it at all. Yeah, a little I bit. was afraid it was coming. I was like, they don't need to. There's been a lot of problems this whole movie. They don't need to do a big mis misunderstanding. And they did anyway, and I didn't like that. And the ending was so cringy for me. So, so cringy for me with him um, saying, I rented this space and you're going to pay me rent. <laughs> Uh, I just hated that so he much. He bought the place. I've yeah, he been, bought. I've been corrected. He didn't. He bought the place. He, he said the rents do. Yeah, and exactly. they Kiss yeah, and the right. next thing. No, go ahead. So I just uh, I didn't like that. And there was a part of this movie that I'm sure a lot of people watching really liked seeing on screen. And there was a part of it, a very particular part of it, that people I'm sure they were just really psyched that this was being represented on screen. I did not like it. What? It did not speak to me at all. It had it had no impact on me. I kind of shook my head and rolled my eyes. The dog? And of course, I'm talking about the Yoda reference. Oh. They squeezed in a Yoda joke, and I'm just like, eh, okay. All right, sure. It was just like low-hanging cultural reference fruit, and yeah. it just didn't work for yeah. me. So overall, just kind of like, eh, I'm just eh, on the just old eh. movie. Not, not, not super, uh, wasn't super into it. Brent? I really liked Borderline Love This Movie. Dan? You did what now? I really liked Borderline. Love this movie, Dan. Are you serious? Which parts? I really liked the Borderline. Love this movie, Dan. What do you think about this movie? Really? You go ahead. You go ahead. I need to hear more. <laughs> what? Really, what do you like? I really enjoyed it. I really I liked the two leads together. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I I try to live in a spirit of thankfulness, and uh, it all just kind of worked for me. And the dog was cute. Dan, what do you think about this movie? Man. Oh boy. God, Bran. Well, I just really liked it. I thought it was really sweet and yeah, I, I like the I, I like the idea of a of a blessing bracelet. I know you, you can buy one now. Hallmark's put it out. Sure. Yeah, Hallmark has done that, it, which I don't love that. But bucks. I like the idea. You don't. Of, you, of, you don't of, love that part. I don't do you love, love that she sold it to save herself I, and get her own blessing. I'm, you love that part? I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course. I don't like Hallmark marketing the thing. Yeah. It felt like they made a whole movie just to just to market a so, thing, which I didn't love that. But yeah, I, I really liked Borderline Love the movie. Dan, Borderline Love. This is going to be fun come ranking time. Borderline maybe one of my favorites of the year. Day yeah, so what? I, I uh, we Day Spring did a movie last Christmas with Brendan Elliott and Nikki Deloach, and it handled faith very well, and it handled grief really well, and it showed you that there's not a magical answer to your grief and your problems, and how sometimes having a community around you is the best thing that you can hope for and want. Um, it's There's beauty in the ashes, so to speak. Um, this movie spits on that very idea. Um, it does so frivolously. Um, it isn't that the guy at the bank desperately wants to keep everyone in his house, which is maybe the most far-fetched part of this movie. It isn't that she thinks she has to just pull herself up by her bootstraps and can only do it herself. Um, I think what finally gets me is when we monetize faith and hope. I think that is maybe where I was as furious as I've ever been watching. Can I defend movies. that though, Dan? Please do. Because here's, here's where it's a little bit different. Okay. She didn't set out making these two do that. She made these four people yeah. to give them hope. Then someone says, hey, I want to give you money for the time it's going to take you to make those bracelets. Wait for it. She First of all, she her parents offer her money to get her out of the debt her husband left her with. She says, no, I won't take your money. Mm -hmm. You know what? Because if you, and she says this, if you just hope and believe, it'll work out for you. That's nonsense. 
That's nonsense. It's offensive. It's offensive to people of faith and people who don't have faith. It's offensive to both. Then she gets a $10,000 check and says, I won't take that either because if I hope enough and I believe enough, then good things are coming my way. And what good things come her way? Is it the second job that she gets where she waits tables and works hard? No, it's her six best friends dropping everything to work around the clock so that she can sell something she was originally giving away for free. This this movie grovels at the feet of American capitalist Christianity. I had no business with it. It's offensive and it shouldn't have been aired and I can't believe Hallmark put their name on it. Worst of the year, bar none, no questions asked. Couldn't stand it, period. End of discussion. Agree or disagree. Uh, we're going to uh, go to the, all the fields. Brian? There was a scene where the choir started uh, singing and they were, uh, they were singing Amazing Grace and it was a very short clip. It was very nice. I wanted to hear more of it and that was, uh, that was my feels. <laughs> Um, I, I, the dog in this movie is, uh, cute as can be the puppy or the, the big boy. But I, I liked both, but you my like point both. was, is I actually really liked when the boy got the puppy at the end. I thought that that just, uh, mm-hmm. I, I, that is also in my way. What, but I will say him <laughs> finally getting a puppy made, made me happy sure. for him, for him. Yeah. It, the fact that we also stretched 84 minutes along for this dog to get a, this, this kid to get a dog. <laughs> was absurd in fact this uh blessings will make everything better uh written by joel osteen and amanda schull's character she basically Can I just says, say this really quickly Dan? please do it was that was it ever articulated Multiple by, times. Her, yes. by her i didn't hear it yeah to me yeah. i i know you, multiple I, times my thing is is i do think that living in thankfulness is better for you as a person so that, to me, the idea of counting your blessings is a great idea. Great. The idea yeah. of doing that so that you will be rewarded is awful. And that's what she, she articulates multiple times. In <sighs> I never heard her say yeah, it. I, I never heard her say it. And I took it personally, as you I, can tell. I and understand. She says it. Yeah. I understand. But it my- is, if it's just counting blessings and telling people what you're thankful for, I am here for it. If it's doing that because it helps you get things and be better in life, then you're the prayer of Jabez on steroids. And I have no use for you. None. And I saw a prayer of Jabez on steroids. Oh my live, gosh. By the so way. good. And, so good. But the, the no inter- here's the interesting the thing band, about absolutely. here's the interesting thing about prayer of Jabez on steroids is they're all so scrawny. <laughs> they come out and they're just the tiniest things. But they're yoked. But they're yoked. Yeah, they're big. And it is. Big time. Yeah. <laughs> it is a sight to behold. Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick break. We'll come back with the way what and the what the. I didn't the, get my feels in. I thought you were going to oh. say the dog too. I thought you, I thought you this had. This movie's it. godless. All right, here we go. Go ahead. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We're talking about the blessing bracelets. I'll say it real slow so I can say it. The blessing bracelet. The blessing bracelet. The bracelet. Uh, let's get to the way what's Brian, what are you waiting on? What do you want? Yeah, so the the sort of like the time frame that this was taking place was very confusing to me at first. It uh, was, yeah. It was Valentine's Day, and then <laughs> sure. it was spring. I want to just pop in real quick here to say it please. was Valentine's Day twice. <laughs> yes, she goes yes. out to eat with her girls for Valentine's That's Day, right. and she gets the job, and the next night she comes back, and they say it's Valentine's Day again. Isn't Valentine's Day the 13th, well, isn't though? The, is that, is, I believe that oh, is. Oh, my bad. Oh, it's no, the I, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't know that that's what Galentine's but they, Day was. Yeah, yeah, mentioned- uh, watch Parks and Rec for once in your life. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> one Sorry. time. Have you heard of that show even? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> but they do bounce around. I mean- they're hard on the Valentines because there are cards in the background. It does and feel then, like it's a week from Easter for like a year and a half yes, in and this movie. They do Sunday, yeah. Sunday's coming. It is coming. Sunday's coming. They do settle into it being Easter time eventually. Yes. We do get there, and that was fine. Uh, and I'm not one to usually to dabble in other people's finances, and I know that is not usually black and white, and it's not like a crystal clear answer all the time. But if I'm having issues like she's having in that situation, my first thought is I'm standing in the kitchen of a three to four bedroom house, two people living in it, I'm either selling it immediately, That's right. renting a room or two, or renting the whole house and moving into a room. Rent a room. And rent, rent. move rent into a, room. a two bedroom apartment. That thing is just cash sitting there. Like that's step one, day one of getting uh, any letter in the mail about uh, financial problems. And they didn't even, the part that annoyed me is it wasn't even a conversation point once. I don't think it came up once that she had the house and she was, she should consider doing something with it. Like, 
that's the most obvious thing. Um, that just frustrated me. And the odds of a bank in your town holding your mortgage or that's cute. I'm sorry, yeah, that's that was, that was That was adorable. Yeah. That was just great. That just would never happen. Uh, and it was bold for her as a server for him to say, hey, surprise me. And she she, surpri- she guesses the beer she that he wants to drink. Her. That's right. I went to a Southern Side Brewery the other sure. night. Yeah. I tried yeah, out- that Greenville. Yeah, Remote that Greenville. Jacket, check out. First time there. <laughs> check out where? Uh, <laughs> at, the, at the Southern Side. Oh, wow. Hey, you just say it out loud. You go, Deck. Yeah, yeah and, and they, they just give you apply a, it. A little, yeah, well, I wish I knew that. But Man. don't yeah. get mad at them if they don't. No, they no. may be forgotten. They, they do a lot of. Funny, it they do a, a lot of. It could have been anything. It could have been, yeah, been, right. been anything. And I ordered a beer I had not tried, and it borderline gave me an allergic reaction. Oh, my. What it was. I have a tough time with IPAs. It gives terrible indigestion or something in my throat. Terrible. Terrible. In the room. Uh, and it was brutal. I couldn't even finish it. I had to give it to Diana to, to finish off. So I'm sitting there, you know, watching my wife finish off my beer. I'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs, just barely breathing. <laughs> but it was Did just it have risky. peanut butter in it? I, I wonder. I go, wow. is that an ingredient? Because I was really curious because it really got me. It's peanut butter pilsner. It'll get you. Someone? I wish they named yeah. it that. <clears throat> uh, when Dawn asked the bank for an extension, she asked the banker, can I have an extension? And Dawn goes and asks, I mean, the, the banker goes and talks to the guy. Uh, Carlo Marx. Carlo Marx. And he says no. So quickly. <laughs> he yeah, just snaps back yeah, with no. Yeah. So quickly. They settled that real quick. Yeah. Uh, no, so she tells her, no, we can't do that. So sorry. The banker goes back into Carlo, and he's like, how'd she take it? And she's like, you know, as, as good as you'd expect or, or something like as good as somebody would in that situation. Like, she took it like an angel. Yeah. Like, she was just like, oh, okay, well, bless you. Have a great day. Are you kidding me? Like she took it, like she took it amazingly. Like she didn't express to him how well yeah. that she took that news. She is very much internalizing a lot of her struggle here, and yes. I, I think part of that is because they're painting the picture of someone that is trying to do it on their own. Yeah, I, so, well, yeah. as a positive, right? Um, right I don't right, know how right. else to say that. Yeah. Like I, she. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. She, she the, per- the, the, scri- the the character is mm. bad. And in that situation, too, you're you're doing something out of your comfort zone. You're asking for an extension, which I feel like she doesn't want to do that. That's right. And then she slapped down for it immediately. So By it's a almost- guy who has said multiple times throughout the movie, mm. I just am looking for any way possible. To help her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was that was just, uh, seemed really out yeah. of character. Yeah. Uh, and Ben, Ben is his name, Mar- ben. Carlo Marx. Uh, at some point, I feel like just looking at the paperwork, he would realize that he's been to the address that he's foreclosing Correct. on. <laughs> Numerous <laughs> times. He's doing the paperwork. So yeah. he's been to the house multiple times. So that was just something, uh, I mean, strange. The bank was very nonchalant about this money all of a sudden appearing and her just rolling in with checks. Yeah, here's <laughs> just, just massive flush check. with cash. No problem. Just around the office. Just so nonchalant about it. No questions asked. And the last two I have are doozies to me. I don't know how much questions the bank would ask about taking your I, money. You would, but you would hope. You would, would hope. be some but concern. I, I but do have a you're feeling right. the bank, bank in their hometown ho- holding their mortgage. Yeah. That's right. That That's is right. a special bank. That's right. They just, they know that her heart is pure and there's no, <laughs> there's no problems. When, uh, when Dawn gets caught up on her debt, the banker, and this was just just killed me at the end. He find, he he left the bank. He started his own I don't know his own like thing. What did he call it? Uh, um, when you're growing startup business incubator. Yes. It was like an incubator. That's right. Uh, he explains to her that now she's gonna pay him rent. Now that she's debt free, she's gonna pay him rent <laughs> to be in this space. And it was just like a bad look for just the bankers. Or I just felt bad. Like the bank's just always out for the dollar, you know, and they just could not end the movie without emphasizing like the bank is just going to get you. So yeah. don't think for one second, this is out of uh, you know, this is a good thing. And the last one was, uh, Hey Don, uh, cash the freaking check. Yeah. Okay. I, like look. <laughs> buy, buy, put it in a, an index fund for the kid, buy candy cigarettes, Anything, it's, anything. It's not, candy <laughs> like, it's not a, but it's not a handout. No, like, it's it's the money that was stolen from her, taken is, away. Is if guys, if you find yourself in need and someone wants to bless you with a handout, take it and first of it. all. Yeah. Second of all, this dude invests all this money, ruins his entire family, deuces out early, deuces out early, then comes back with a ten thousand dollar check. He's not paid alimony or child support, which I guarantee he goes back. He should be oh, in yeah. jail somewhere. 100%. And then she's like, "Well, I'm an independent woman that doesn't take handouts." Yeah. What are you talking about? In- infuriated. It probably didn't even cover the three yeah. years of alimony yeah. and, and child not support even that he dent. owes. Oh man, it was infuriating. Oh my gosh. Just put it in the bank and, sh- and then oh. don't talk about. It. Like it's just infuriating. 
It's your local bank, preferably. Yeah, 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 pick a local bank. bank. Spread it out among a couple banks, not just one. (laughs) Just in case. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this kid is like what? What age do we think this kid is? 15? 14? He's 15? A, yeah, high school. High like, school. He's like ninth grade. Okay. So this kid keeps asking for a dog. And she says, someday. Someday we'll get a dog. And my thing is, is like, man, you are yeah. running yeah. out of time yeah, with this left. kid. Sand it and there's like, no much left. If you wait much longer, he, you're going to be stuck with that yeah, dog. You're taking care of that dog. That kid's dog. going to college. Right. You can't and take that dog and, with him. I, yeah. I do think this movie gets off on the wrong foot before it gets started when a person that works at a vet won't get their son a dog. Yep. Yep. For literally the only reason we can think of, and she says this, I'd have to get a third job to pay for your dog. So not only will she not get him a dog, but she is basically telling him it costs an entire job's yeah. worth of money, and she's guilting her son about it. Yeah, I, yeah. Man, I know you gotta you gotta pay dog food, but like it's not. I mean, you, come on. You can you'll you'll be okay. I well, mean, she I, wants to get a sick or, dog. Or yeah, this kid <laughs> you with, can rescue a dog for free, and then the dog food alone. But is to not. that point, this kid is is walking Ben's dog yeah. for yeah. money. Where is that money going? Why is that kid not able to? That kid at that point should be able to buy a dog. I think what she was saying is, is we can't afford a purebred puppy. Yeah, sure. Is what she is saying. I see. And so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I did find Ben's character to be confusing because I'm not entirely sure what his role at the bank is. Because at some point, he <laughs> he's says like, he's at, a big guy. At, at one a point, he's expert. like, I'm in charge of like helping businesses. And then at the next yeah. point, he's like dealer, no deal banker with a silhouette <laughs> shaking his head oh, no right. <laughs> to an extension where his note. whole thing is, is like, man, I, my, I could not be more depressed in my life <laughs> because there's just foreclosures all around me and there's nothing I can do about it. And then next thing you know, he's just like, no, 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 we're not giving her an extension. Has she been paying? Yes. Does it show that she's working hard to do it? Yes. Extension. No, is she maybe. local? Is she, is, is she local? Yes, yes, she is. Um, I and my last thing is is he did so much work on this location yes. for her shop. What happens if she says no? Yeah, because that like what if she goes? I I can't do this right now. Yeah, yes. He's in a. He's like already branded it. He's already got a. He's got a sign up and everything. My guy did so much work. Um, for this place, and I do think it's a little bit unfair for him to call that an incubator. You're that's a salt. That, you're just kind of trying to get a girl. Especially to like since, that point. and I can is that your last one? I can piggy piggy back on that. She sells one item. Yes, you know the future of online Etsy stores is brick and mortar, right? Like that is where you go to make the big bucks. Is passers by with your one bracelet, well, item. especially since uh, everybody in town I think has one at this. Point. Yes, yeah. like everybody yeah. got one for Easter. That other accoutrement is going to have to come in real handy. It's going to have to become the main course in a hurry. You get your mortgages and your bracelets local. Uh, yeah, and that is it. That's it. That's all you get. Mortgage and bracelets got to be local. The brick and mortar store makes no sense under any. Like she's not going to be able to afford rent there. No, there's no way. Um, at the beginning of this movie, when they go back, uh, when they go to the restaurant for the first time, they see a now hiring sign on the door, and it is like this is the first, it's like an oasis in the desert. Like, they've not seen a now hiring sign ever anywhere, and finally, someone is hiring someone to work. Um, and she goes in, and she pitches why she should be hired to this guy, and she doesn't know that it's the owner, mm-hmm. and she talks, she waxes poetic about how, um, this place is so meaningful to me and I've, I've, I've been coming here for years. How does she not know the owner? If you didn't come to the (laughs) restaurant for years and years, you don't recognize this guy, at least as someone who's walking around occasionally under new management. Like I just, yeah, yeah. Apparently under new management. Um, I, I can't, I don't know how else to reiterate this in a package that's a little bit less intense, but like you, your job isn't, if you're listening right now, your job isn't to figure it all out yourself. And it's also not to take advantage of your friends. This movie makes it sound like it's biblical to do those two things. Like her parents offer her money early in this movie. Her parents go, now, you know, if you ever need any money, we're here. I understand people don't want to take money from their parents. I understand that. I I can remember my father like it was yesterday. I graduated college. He said, you have 90 days 
And all this is going in your name. All of it's going in your name. Now, at the end of that 90 days, I had a job. I was doing my own thing. And then he told me, I'd have never let you go homeless. I'd have never let you do it. But I needed you to get your own independence. I understand that. If you're going through a tough time, the idea that your parents would reach out and and be like, hey, we want to help you. And you'd be like, no, I would rather just drown in a sea of debt and bills and foreclosure. And my kid and I can live on the street. Don't get it. And then you get a $10,000 check and you're like, don't get it. And you're like, God, why won't you just give me a sign? Like, why won't you just like bless me when I just like, gosh, why is this happening to me? Why do all the bad things? Dude, God provided you two ways out already. And you're acting like, you know, if you don't do it all yourself, that you're like less of an American and less of a Christian. I don't understand that at all. It was brutal to watch. I I couldn't, couldn't get over it. Now, Instead of that, what she does is, is she continues to take orders for these bracelets and, and her friends do volunteer. But the best we understand at one point is they have to make 300 bracelets in a day and it takes them all day. And unless she's paying them, she's basically running a sweatshop. <laughs> like like yeah. either you're paying them and you're not making any money or you're Nike, right? Like you don't like, there's no in between here. You have turned down money from your parents and money from your deadbeat ex-husband so that you can make your friends work from sunup to sundown for free. That is your big plan here. But I did find out in the movie Air that Phil Knight has donated over $2 billion. So he that has. makes everything he okay. Has. So he has. Help. Our helps. children making the sneakers, yes. But he has done that. He's so donated that. Two, $2 billion. Did they mention that movie? No. but They, no, they, but did, they said Taiwan and South Korea in the movie, do- which I found interesting. He's donated $2, um, $2 billion. Yeah. Um, I do have to go back to the fact that her initial plan is to just give these bracelets to strangers. I don't know how I would... Like, can you imagine just, can I get the check, please? Yeah. And somebody comes over and they hand you the check and they go, hey, I also had this handcrafted jewelry for you. I just want to remind you to count your blessings. I would start to wonder what restaurant I'm at. I would, I would kind of be like, whoa, okay, thank you, lady. Similar to the movie, I would probably quite like it. Yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. <laughs> oh, cool. A bracelet. Uh, my my other bracelet broke. just broke. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sign. It's, it's coming in clutch. Really, really well. Um, I know what I'm being thankful for first. And, yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> bracelets. He, uh, bracelets. <laughs> Carlo takes it upon, uh, upon Bland itself. Bland does bracelets. <laughs> to make... To make... Uh, Bland's bracelets. <laughs> Bland's bracelets. Hi, everybody. My name's Bland. <laughs> Have you ever needed a blessing? <laughs> Come down and get a bracelet. I know I do. Uh, um... I will say Carlo Marx takes time out of his busy, busy day to make her a logo for her business, oh, Dawn's Designs. Yeah, I forgot about and this. I got to be honest, it isn't bad for the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's not a bad design for literally the worst design I've ever seen for anything. Um, and that is all I have. I thought he had some bank paperwork or something that he was going to show or something about her mortgage, like something, yeah. some new pack, like investment opportunity came in. Nope, just opens that thing up. And just That's right. the logo he printed out. To sum it up, if you're having a difficulty in life, the best thing you can do is actually give to other people mm. of your time and resources and kindness, not say no to handouts and enlist all of your friends into hard labor. Yep. They, but they do it willingly. And they're you know doing the they, thing that, but Dan, they're doing the thing that are. you're telling them they to are. do. If you hope and believe, which is enough, to give willingly of their time. Yeah, they do it, and then and she, but instead of her taking money that would help her, yep. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> saying that she shouldn't have. She all the she, problems yes. that you have. I, I right. hope that but you know all the problems you have in this she movie. She doesn't do it just once. I don't. They think just keep adding. They and adding. keep showing up. Yeah, yeah, day in and day out. Yes. they certainly do. She takes advantage of a group of people when there are two or three easy ways to fix this problem. Yes. Okay. I know. I don't think that she's taking advantage. Of oh them. my gosh! Because they don't need to keep showing up. They keep showing up. Of course they do. What are they supposed to do? Say no? Yeah. When you get to a point where you're getting hundreds of orders, you are taking advantage. Yeah. That's of, all. Especially of. when it finds out it takes a six people all day to make three hundred bracelets. <laughs> That is not a good sign, people. Mm. That means these well, bracelets gotta, take more time than just throwing well, the beads is, on there. It, it, it's in, intricate. Yeah. It's their, their blessing bracelets. They sure. are. Because you actually have to bless each one. You bless, yeah, that's you what bless takes each so much one. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, put, they say the prayer of Jabez over each beat yes. is what happens. It's great. S- sprinkle with steroids. Let's leave Jesus out of it. Um, well, what, the hallmark? Yes, sure is. What do you got? I got... So, well, that made, me just, so. that made me think of something just now is you're What's spending that? all this time assembling, hand assembling them. Wouldn't it be easier to throw all the pieces in a bag and ship them out? And then the, when you get like everything else these yeah. days, you just put it together well, yourself. If, if she has to pay for any labor, she's not making a dime. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a good business 
So well, mine, she's and mine she's is my what the homework is. How much are these bracelets going for? Twenty seven. How much bucks. are we monetizing blessings and faith for? They're twenty eight bucks. Is it twenty eight dollars? Yeah, they are for twenty eight dollars. Yeah. Oh, on, on yeah. the website. But on the in the, the movie, in, yeah, twenty seven to thirty dollars for each one in is the what the it said. Movie is what they it showed. Say that. Yeah, on the website. Which and that was my question was, are they making money? Uh, Oh, people, you'll make money on that. How point. many you supplies? Got she had a lot of but supplies lot. left over. You got and you got to buy all that stuff up. For, I mean, you're, you're if spending her overhead a lot. was nothing because she had all that stuff in the garage right, and her labor right, right, was right. nothing, then she'd make mm-hmm. nine thousand yeah. dollars on the three hundred yeah. top end, it's right? Good. But that and they are for, for sale now. Dollars, you also can be blessed, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe you'll you get too. one. It'd be, yeah, it'd be great. But that was that was my what the hallmark was. Uh, they are for sale for real. Uh, how are they selling? What's the margin on them? And uh, is this a good strategy? Like, if this works well, I'm afraid they'll do it again. Well, it depends you know? on, like, the type of, of, of bead. Like, there there's, a, there's mm-hmm. a variety of beads used in this movie as well. Like, at some yeah. point, they're using little tiny boys. Mm. Some of them are the bigger boys. Do, does the blessing change? Per, yeah, you want a big boy. The, you want a bigger blessing, beat, Definitely. right? Definitely. I do want a bigger blessing, but I also I don't want to spend $28. Can I get a cheaper one oh, with a no, smaller? Ble- remember... Give and it'll come back to you. Press down, shaking together, running over. That's right. Yeah, I'll still go go with the small ones though. Wow. <laughs> Me, I mean, having a big clunky thing is not. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like much. it. I, the beads that I had on my old yeah. bracelet are the type of beads. That's that's where I'm comfortable. Yeah. Anything bigger, I, I don't need a big blessings either. Like I don't either. Big. I don't either. I'm cool. I don't either. I get to do this thing with my friends. Yeah, that's all you need. Me too. I could do Amen. this thing with my friends. That's exactly what I'm talking about, baby. Uh, yeah, you know, I guess I don't. They 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 wrapped up a lot in this movie. Um, I am intrigued at the at the brick and mortar. Like what? Yeah, yeah. What do you do? What do you do there? <laughs> Since everybody in town has a bracelet at this point, uh, does she branch out? I know she talked about bringing in other other things, but the thing is, I've seen a lot of stores like this crash and fail. I've seen Absolutely. a lot of crash and burn stores day. like this. Um, so I'm just intrigued by it, Dano. Uh, yeah, mine was the, how much is she selling the bracelets for? And then how in the world is this brick and mortar pay rent to my boyfriend working out? Mm-hmm. Cause that seems like a disaster oh. where he has enough money to buy this building, but is charging her rent and she's only selling bracelets. I just don't see there being a long future there at a brick and mortar blessing bracelet store. I think that could be a problem. Unless they bring back the ice cream too. Oh well, yeah. I mean, you there. know, I mean, come on. Both no That's not a bad if idea. If you can get what? a blessing, right? Then you've got your blessing right there. What if, what if he brings her to that thing and <laughs> opens it up and it's the ice cream store? Uh, the way that someone was I thought, telling me that if I if I ate a like a uh, a Dairy Queen Blizzard peanut butter puppy chow Blizzard, and that would bless me, I would believe that because I had one today, mm. and boy howdy, was that blessing real? Yeah. Ooh, boy. I had a cotton candy one. 85 cents. They're giving them away. Giving now, them did away. we pay full price? Talk about a blessing. We did pay full. I, well, Aaron did. But she had a you coupon. You make it sound like Aaron is out there just spending her hard-earned money on on. In this girls. case, she did. She and was. that is She accurate. absolutely yes. did. She absolutely did. It's a special day. Dingus. Day after Dingus. Uh, no, it's a few Dingus days after day. Dingus But day. Dingus over there lost her card at the uh, <laughs> public. Right. So there's nothing yeah, yeah, we yeah. could do. Yeah, if she had not lost your credit card, <laughs> all, all, this all, 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 all this would have been solved. All this would have been easy peasy. Who's the Dingus now? Who's the Dingus now? That's exactly right. Uh, we'll be back next time with another one. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bravel Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day.